I'm Josh. And I'm Tiana. And today we're back with another episode of Pass the Play. And in today's episode, we'll be cooking Bayesian food, which, fun fact, is from Barbados, where Tiani's family is from. Funny that you mentioned that actually. Why is that? Well, today's Pass the Play episode is going to be at my house. That's so exciting! And my mom will be joining us. I love this explosion. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get cooking! Follow us! Back the door. We're here, Mother! So tell me about Barbados. Well, Barbados is an Eastern Caribbean island, and it's a British Commonwealth nation, and it's surrounded by beaches and botanical gardens. That sounds so beautiful. And Barbados is full of beautiful people, like me. <laughs> wow. I really want to go there now. It's really beautiful. Like with beautiful people? Yes! <laughs> and beautiful food? Beautiful people, beautiful food, beautiful culture, beautiful experiences. I heard you guys have something called conkies. <laughs> can, you, can you explain what a conkie is? Well, <laughs> conkies are made with cornmeal, cassava, Ooh. pumpkin, sweet potato, you add a few little spices to it, such as nutmeg, allspice, um, vanilla um, essence, mm -hmm. and you add sugar. Yeah. And you mix it all together it and wrap it in a banana oh, leaf and boil so it. Well, we're not making cookies today. We're making fish cakes. So, Mom, do you want to explain what fish cake is? Well, fish cakes is something that is usually made on a Saturday in the island of Barbados and it goes very well with um, something called uh, um, It's been a while since you've been there. It's huh? been a while. Salt bread. Mm. Salt bread is like a um, it's like a Portuguese roll, mm. but it's a little different. And what they usually do, they either serve it with the salt bread, or, or you can either serve it as a um, a little snack on the side, you know. But you know, it's a it's a it's a delicacy that the island people enjoy. And that's all of the West Indies, right? And it's all of the West Indies, but I think Barbados perfected it. Wow, I'm so excited to try it. Yes. So the um, fish cakes is made with codfish, some call saltfish, some call bakulao in different islands. Mm -hmm. And how we do this is we boil the codfish or some soak it. But the process of doing that is because you're trying to get all the salt out of it. So right now we have some codfish already boiled. And I'm going to um, take it and break it up in little pieces. Codfish, you don't have to, you can use it in different ways, but we like it like this, or we like it like, we can make it in this fashion, but we put it over white rice, and it could be like, cooked down like a, like a little codfish, little gravy stew type, and you put it over white rice, and you can eat it like that. Or you can cook it up in, a, in the white rice. So you break it in pieces. Then I have some onions that I chopped up and some scallions. I put that in there. I have some fresh thyme. That goes in. Take the Time off the stems. Making fish cakes is a process, a very tedious process. When would you usually make it? Maybe on a holiday or maybe on a birthday or any type of party gathering. Yeah. It's, but it's something that everyone in the family as soon as the first batch 
comes out the pan, the hot oil is gone. <laughs> It's all of our favorites. And it's all the favorites. It's the favorites for everyone. Yes. Even the grandbabies. Yes. They love fish cakes. Okay, the next is bonnet bell pepper. So I need some gloves for this because... Would you make it for Independence Day? <laughs> uh, do we make it for um, Asian Independence? If people make it for whenever they want to make it. They make anything. <laughs> You can go to like a corner uh, in Bridgetown and they have like a little um, a fish cake truck. They have, everywhere you go in the island of Barbados, somebody is making something. They have fish cakes, they have conkeys, they have mm. something called black pudding and sauce. Saturdays is really the day that they do like the fish cakes and the sauce and different things like that. I have a, co a, a cousin that has a um, a shop off her house and she cooks dinners every, every day. So that's, you know, people go to her for dinners and all types of different types of meals. So the bonnet bell pepper is hot, so I use gloves to chop this up because I'm not trying to burn my eyes because I'll be in here crying for days. I chopped it up really fine. with putting an oil into this pan. You use a lot of oil because you're deep frying the fish cakes. And we're just gonna let it sit on a low heat while she's preparing them. Half a teaspoon of bacon powder. This is a half, this is one fourth of butter melted. Okay. Black pepper. Jamaican choice, but it's Bayesian style. Okay? <laughs> Bayesian style. So I like to add that in there. Wow. It's everybody's favorite oh, that, sauce. That looks so good already. So, can you tell me anything more about 
Bayesian culture? Um, well, every year in Barbados, there is, um, like, what is it, Mommy? It's like Labor Day, but it's called Crop Over. Crop Over. And that comes at the end of July going into August. Yes. So it's kind of like a two-week thing where they're partying hard. Hard. And it's like... <laughs> It's like a festival. So it's a festival. You, festival. You get to enjoy everything, every foods, all the different ethnicity of the island mm. on that day. Yes. And people wear very spectacular outfits, and they wear the crop over outfits. So they have like a little mini skirts and like a little bra bust bustiers. Bustier. Yeah. And then like if you've ever seen like the feathers. Yeah. It's a pretty big. Crapova is one of Rihanna's favorite things to attend. Yes. Yes. She goes every year. Okay, and you yes. should go. Sure. Come to Barbados. Okay. Now this is your batter. What's next? All right. So I'm going to let the oil get hot. And I like it to be nice and hot. In the meantime... I clean my mess. So, what are we doing next? Starting the frying process. Ooh. Okay. So, I'm gonna drop. See. I like to dip my spoon. I like my oil to get a little hotter, but I like to dip my spoon and then scoop mm. like this. Drop. Ooh, it looks like a fun process. Do you want to try it? I'd rather leave it to the professionals. You should try it. I think you should show me how to do it. I'll try it first and then you can go next. I'd, ra I'd rather leave it to the professionals. Can we give it a shot? You can give huh? it a shot. You can give it a shot as long as you do it right. Okay. Go co-host. Ball. A little ball. No, that's not a ball. That's a, no, that's not a ball. You got to... No, like this. I don't think you... That's not a ball. I don't think you understood the assignment. Tiana, that's... <laughs> it's a ball to me. No, you did not understand the Joshua's assignment. Uh -oh. Come on, Joshua. Try it. Because she did not understand the assignment at all. Like this. That's the ball. See? Try it. <laughs> yes. So how Yeah. Now drop. See? Joshua understood the assignment. Did Very you good, it? Joshua. Thank you. <laughs> and it's that it for the process of making fish cakes? Well, we let it fry till it get golden brown. Okay? okay. Once it's golden brown, we take it out. Wow, I can smell it already. Wow, it looks so delicious. Ooh. cakes and this is the ending product and we would like to thank my mom mrs clinton for helping us cook these <laughs> and teaching us how to cook them bon appetit mm. Very good. you look good mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. so spicy add a little kick to it mm -hmm. nice and crunchy soft soft chewy middle yes Lovely color. Lovely. Lovely. And that's when we pass the plate.